guys, welcome are doing a battle. This battle is the battle, the invasion of the blue line of the blue stand. So the blue, the red arm. After some decisive battles, the the beginning of the war starts with the blue army being invaded. Now nine, these teams are. Sit are both evenly matched, but this army has anti air jeeps and it's two trucks full of some machine, some with full of four men armed with machine guns, pretty much chariots. Anyways, the blue army has it, doesn't have too much men. Whoa. Oof. Uh, almost fall, fell off my chair. Has some cannons back here, AA guns, and some machine gun posts. A line of machine guns and artillery, and also some foot in case things get dead. But here's the big. So we got some barrages, aka trucks falling over. There's no blue air, and I'm pretty sure there was some blue air force. But here's the red crew attack here. It's like they're getting a little cut down a little bit. They actually were cut down. The keep let's just say the red army retreats and fills up the bigger army. Now this side is gonna get some air force. Maybe. Two of those helicopters and two of these. These have machine guns. So it's going to be crucial. And the Jeep, of course, takes it down. And the bombs are dropping on the artillery. It looks like this defense. Yeah, there's a big crater. And there's no air force left. So, oh wait, are those guys fire in the sky? Please, no, wait, there's some, oh jeez, it'd be horrifying to be the infant, to be the men over here. And these, and, and two of these two planes are destroyed because that, because the truck was, made it. Okay, looks like they're all running to mine. So. They've been destroyed. The blue army held them back. And now things have taken a turn. Now the red army is going to be defending. And instead of cannons, they're using artillery to fire both air and land. And a bunch and a line of machine guns. Since the re since the blue army is trying to mobilize, they're gonna need some help. The red army is also gonna need some help too. So of course there's gonna be some infantry. I mean, there's infantry and even in defensive battles. I mean, there's men. There's, you gotta have soldiers. And the blue army will take a. A smoke attack. It's KLT, KLTRs, or pretty much LVPs. Trucks, and even some kamikaze drones. I call them kamikaze drones because you're going to see what these things do. And then obviously you're going to have the infantry. I mean, and you think that's not the whole, that's the whole force? No, I, was, I said that. There is going to be some means of air force and bombers. And hopefully, if this thing isn't destroyed, they can drop bombs literally directly on the target. So, 108 defenders, 
95 invaders. It looks like a pretty good battle, but we're gonna get three planes. Why not? Four. So they have some means of the attack, and the planes are all, and bombs are dropping. It's like the bombing of Japan, but and it looks like we got some craters, but no planes are left. Oh. Well, it dropped its bombs. They're all dropping the payload. And now the infantry is a D-Day. Total domination. Two infantry men. Uh, I, there were two infantry men. That's just artillery pumping. That's just these trucks pumping. The infantry. So, they surrender. It's like... We put up a fight, but we're getting the heck out. So now, they're just fit. They're ready to just blow them. Blow them back to the red land, the red, the red sea. I don't know. I need some location to wait. The red, the red Roman, Roman ritual site. I don't know. The Kamikaze things did their job, I guess. It looks like they have destroyed in every All vehicles have destroyed mobs, except for these things. They just fly over. I need to be updated. But, that, you see? They are glass shatters. And it's like the battle of something. I don't know. And infantry is not again gone. Can we get these poor infantrymen to their site? I know how. They never tried tanks. Full fledged tanks. Now, 120 attackers. This is. I forgot the amount of defenders. And you got trucks, too. They're doing nothing. The bomb droppers. They're dropping the payload. There doesn't seem to be too much infantry left, but at the same time, the helicopters are getting beat. I mean, this thing just went down. But hey, this is kind of the closest the Blue Army's got. If it can stop clicking, then maybe we can enjoy more video. Okay. Chase, cut it out! Nothing wants my video. So, we did it, but the infantry did it, but now they're bringing in the heavy boys. We made those true tanks. They're one trying the Air Force now. And now these two are finally getting what they need. The Red Army just got kabooshed in the face. And the flames have come. Hopefully, we don't just have a tank force. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have a little bit of infantry. Nope, no infantry whatsoever. Okay, so far, the, these invaders have gone nowhere? Oh, they So, the invaders halted. A new strategy is tried. A full-fledged super miss super tank force. The super tank force, the FTF, has been formed, which is just which is strategy where pretty much tanks and some good old infantry go at it. It's pretty much a blitzkrieg. It's kind of some sort of blitzkrieg. And the special payloads are the flamethrowers. Which is going up against the cannons. And I'm not just saying one room, I'm saying two rows of these hard cannons. Which fire 
extremely tough challenge. And uh, probably gonna be destroyed. It has just a bunch of artillery, machine guns. And the only reason that's there is because they got a tank in there. They got some tanks in there only. And it looks like these tanks have like bunker mounts. So it looks like you can fire this, then you have to go in the back of the tank and reload it back there. Of course, there's, you can drive the tank too. It's a mobile artillery piece. Not much of a tank, but hey, if it's a tank, it's a tank. And they got some infantry themselves. Also, sneaky snipers. They're not really sneaky, but they're, they got snipers. And... Bazookas. Oh, 86 versus 100 something. 100 versus 86. Quality and quantity. So far, the infantry up. Oh, I take that back. You know, like the other game these the creators made. There's no graves. They will just sink as if they're when they're alive. They're alive. Wow, they got that wiped out fast. Okay, we need to see the red view. We saw the blue. The hundred and one. So it looks like quality over quantity. And I don't know how, but the snipers didn't do well. And the bazookas need. And that's the same sound for the muskets. Oh, these tanks are long range. And the artillery takes horribly long to reload. Yep. No matter how hard they try, they're just getting. Their cannons are not doing much. And this wasn't an original unit. It's a new. It, it's not new, new either. But it's not one of the first team. Oh no, there's a glitch. Well, we just found a glitch. Wait. I wonder. 120 versus 86. This is just the fun, for fun battle. Right here. Not part of the story I'm making. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. But, the blue army infantry. Alright, this man here. What happened to this, this soul? He killed. No. He doesn't even see the field. Oh, those guys got killed. So it's possible this one is too. Nope. He just ran through. Wow, lucky day for these guys. Now it's the snow. It looks like... Okay, so the blue army is literally blue, like snow, at like cold, has a group of... has 57 M16s and, and flamethrowers, because they need heat, here in this area. The, and only some slight tanks, because they they were in. They thought it'd be a small defense. So they are screwed. They're gonna be screwed. Cause this almost the exact same defense, but the machine guns are literally on that border. So there's the Force A and Force B down here. Just a bunch of AKs. This is the more strong force. Because they got two bazookas and some air support. And of course they got a t two KTRs. So this force here has to do with that force there. And they have different rows for the cannons. So it's just a bunch of cannons. Probably gonna be wiped out. And they got some bombs. So, 
72 versus 120. And instantly, we're, there, looks like the tank got pummeled, and the bombers are distracting the tanks. <laughs> Meaning, yeah, nothing. Wow, 120. This mold plane. They even took a cat. No, they took some casualties. Oh, wait. The little plane retreated. That was a mistake. You guys just made a mess. Great. You can tell it's this game. Might play on my channel. Never know. So. The 120 just got their butt kicked. Which means they're gonna get two trucks. It's not coming, and I'm getting a little some lag. But are these guys capable of break putting them both? It's like that truck got destroyed, so it's that. All the AK, all the force there is dead. And all the force there. So it looks like the blues are having, are having the blues. The blues have the blues. This is going to cost time. Cost. I don't know how long the video is going to be for my start. Oh, it's the and we got these poor souls here. Come on, I don't want more units, I want less! Less! So, if you were an army commander, and you had a wall of of doom in front of you. What do you do? Well, put in some hard cold uh, American blue steel, along with some with the blue skins, the en the sworn enemy of the red skins. Hence, hence. Again, so you, if you got the joke, put that. Up. A ha ha in the comments. A hundred head troops versus seventy two. Now get them the troops. And yeah. Four planes. Come on. It should be able to take down three bombs. And it looks like they're going in for straight defense against the artillery. Is that a pretty good AS? Right now, the infantry is being moved back. Are well, these guys out there? No, no. This brave group here made their advance. And now I'm very, being very good So the tanks are not doing too well. Where did these guys come from? I don't remember putting down snipers. <laughs> I think I just, I accidentally, I could fall. This pretty much musketeers, but it's a different skin. Okay, surrender. The snipers didn't want to take on the heat of the 